Diddy's ex-girlfriend Gina Ween spoke out against the rapper's alleged behavior years before his other ex-girlfriend Cassie sued him for alleged rape and abuse during their relationship. Back in 2019, Gina sat down with blogger Tasha Kay for a chat about her five-year fling with Diddy. She accused Diddy of being violent with her. He stomped on my stomach really hard, like, took the wind out of my breath, she said. She added, I couldn't breathe. He kept hitting me. I was pleading to him, can you just stop? I can't breathe. Gina claimed Diddy grabbed her by her hair and punched her in the back of her head. She said she fought back because she had enough of his s. Diddy's relationship with Gina started following his breakup with Cassie. He was mentally, emotionally and physically abusing me. He would always compare me to Cassie and tell me that I'm the bad one, she's a good one, Gina said. She claimed his team allowed the behavior and failed to intervene. As RadarOnline.com previously reported, on Thursday, Cassie filed a shocking lawsuit against Diddy in New York federal court. She claimed Diddy came into her life at 19 and signed her to a 10 record deal. Cassie, met Mr. Combs in 2005, when she was 19 years old and he was 37 years old. He signed her to his label, Bad Boy Records, and within a few years, lured, Cassie, into an ostentatious, fast-paced, and drug-fueled lifestyle, and into a romantic relationship with him her boss, one of the most powerful men in the entertainment industry, and a vicious, cruel, and controlling man nearly two decades her senior, her lawsuit read. Her lawyer said, throughout their relationship Mr. Combs was prone to uncontrollable rage, and frequently beat Ms. Ventura savagely. These beatings were witnessed by Mr. Combs' staff and employees of Bad Boy Entertainment and Mr. Combs's related businesses, but no one dared to speak up against their frightening and ferocious boss. Her suit added, adding insult to injury, Mr. Combs used illegal substances and threats of violence to force Ms. Ventura into repeated unwanted sexual encounters with male sex workers. Cassie said she attempted to leave multiple times but was pulled back in by Diddy's vast network of resources. Cassie said she tried to leave Diddy in September 2018 which led to him allegedly raping her. Diddy's attorney said, Mr. Combs vehemently denies these offensive and outrageous allegations. For the past six months, Mr. Combs, has been subjected to, Cassie's, persistent demand of $30 million, under the threat of writing a damaging book about their relationship, which was unequivocally rejected as blatant blackmail. Despite withdrawing her initial threat, Cassie, has now resorted to filing a lawsuit riddled with baseless and outrageous lies, aiming to tarnish Mr. Combs' reputation and seeking a payday.